guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another TCTV video, mainly talking about The Flash and Supergirl. So, as I said in previous videos this week and last week, I'm going to be doing these videos about once every two days from now on. So, you know, if it keeps up and it seems like you guys are liking these videos, so let me know your feedback in the comments down below. And remember to post the next video, check out the community tab, and if you want to get your question or topic or you know theory included in the video please be sure to go do that straight away because that will be up by the time this video is up so yeah I wanna thank you for all the support on these videos I really think this is a good idea over the break to have these questions being sent in from you guys I answer them as best as I can and it's all to do with DCTV and it's like normal content whilst you know we wait for new theories and new news to come out you know, I'm obviously thinking about ideas constantly about what I can put out to you guys. So I love making these videos at the moment. They're like my new favorite thing. But anyway, so without further ado, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into your questions. So the first question comes from Glacier, the Ice Wing on YouTube, who asks. With the new schedule, is it possible the shows will be premiering every year in January instead of October, or is it only for 2021? That's a very good question, and that was in my mind when it first came up, but I'm pretty damn sure Mark Pedowitz came out and said something in regards to that, and basically what they're going to do is they're going to be filming their normal seasons, it's going to be normal length as far as what they've scheduled, so it's going to come out January 2021 for these new shows, obviously Supergirl and Legends, that's a different thing, they're going to come out later, but what seems to be like it's going to be happening is, they're going to film their normal time, you know, up until around like April or something, and then they will actually just go on their normal break and start filming again in like, you know, the end of June slash start of July around Comic Con time next year when Comic Con is scheduled, then they release their trailer, then they have, you know, those few weeks of filming, but they get the break for Comic Con, then they continue filming, and yes, the shows will be premiering in 2021 for their new seasons in October, providing nothing like this happens again, like, you know, what's happened this year with everything going on in the world, so yeah, it's not going to be just like this forever, they're going to go back to their normal full release dates, because I'm pretty damn sure that's what Mark Pedowitz has said, and, you know, it's very smart for the CW to do that. So, no worries about that, Glacier, the ice wing. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Swift Mew on YouTube, who asks quite a lot of questions, and you guys can do that. If you've got more than one question, just include it in your comment on the community page, and I will answer them. So, number one, I'm not going to answer all the questions. I'm going to answer some of the questions that I haven't talked about before, because I've talked about Monel coming back a lot recently maybe we'll do that sometime in the future again if there's like a really interesting angle or theory some of you guys have on it but anyway so let's answer some of these so will James come back to Supergirl so I think that's a good question but for now he's not going to come back that's because McCard is taking sort of like this leave of absence I guess and I reckon he won't come back maybe he'll come back for a sort of guest appearance like Chris Wood did and like some of the other actors like Jeremy Jordan coming back for like three episodes or something like that but in the near future I would say no I would say no to next season but maybe the season after James can come back okay so that's a very good question all right so next question from Swift Mew again is is Gemma really dead so I think the way it ended very much so teased that she is alive and she is in her sort of true form we still got to find out what you know leviathan is who's in charge of it who did she answer to and you know the fact that this is her true form and she's some sort of like robot like psycho robot like machine i don't know what she is like a freaking terminator and it's crazy and i think it definitely sets up next season because they wouldn't have revealed that they would have just killed her if she was dead and she screams and that's how we end the episode with her. So I'm presuming she's coming back and I would say she's definitely not dead. So don't worry about that. She's a bit different it seems like 
from the other Leviathan members who were just sucked into that immortality tube. And the next question again is from Swift Mew who says, is Brainy really dead? So the plain and simple answer is no, that was just a way to end the episode with a bit of tension for next season before they start it. And you can definitely presume as of, you know, the way it ended, Nia's gonna save him at the start of the next episode, so don't worry about that. Okay, so the next question comes from Captain Widow on YouTube who writes, do you think that in season six of Supergirl, Lex can make a form of Superboy? So this is a theory that I brought up in my finale video, and I think this is really interesting and I wanted to cover this. So thank you for bringing it up. And a few of you guys actually brought this up and you know, Swift Mew also asked a question regarding Lex and his mom and what they're up to. So this links into that. So that's why I'm answering this right after that question is because I do think there is a possibility that this may lead to Superboy with them having the immortality tube and them having these plans and they're working together and obviously they have the intent of taking over the world and everything like that. What would be a better way to defeat Kryptonians by having your own Kryptonian? And so in the comics sometimes and also in Young Justice, if you've seen Young Justice, Lex Luthor creates a version of Superboy. And I'm presuming most of you guys have seen Young Justice because that sort of falls into what we talk about on this channel, you know, DC show. So if you've seen that, you know that Superboy is made by Lex, but in the end, he actually breaks free of like Lex's control, though, you know, he's controlled by Lex in some way. There's some sort of uh, implements within inside of him, but he is basically born out of this sort of test tube and it's like Lex's DNA, you know, he's his father essentially, but he's like a Kryptonian as well, so he's technically like a Kent or like a member of the House of L, but not like physically from the House of L. So I would say this would be a great thing to continue from the end of the episode, from where we left off in the finale, because you had Lex and Lillian, and they're in that same place back in season four where we saw Lex and Red Daughter. So maybe he is building clones there or something like that, you know, new Kryptonians, and I'm sure he has like a plentiful sample of DNA from Kryptonians, and I'm sure he has loads of Kryptonite if that's what he needs to make Superboy. But I think that is a really, really good question because I do think that could potentially happen, and I've been thinking about that, so great question right there. Okay, so the next question comes from Betty on YouTube who asks, do you think the CW has already cast a replacement for Ruby? If yes, when do you think we can expect an announcement? So, I would say probably not an announcement for a while. I would say, you know, sometime in the next month or so, we will probably start to see some casting rumors going around, and then maybe we'll get the official words just before filming starts because, you know, filming for Batwoman is scheduled to return about the same time as The Flash and everything, so I would say probably around, like, late July slash, you know, early August when they return to film, potentially, obviously we don't know how it's gonna go, I would say just before they start filming, that's when you're gonna see the announcement that Ruby has been recast and this actress is playing her role as Batwoman, so, yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Takesuk on YouTube who asks, How many episodes do you think Season 7 of The Flash will have and do you think this is the final season? So, yeah. Season 7 of The Flash, as far as we know, is going to have the same episode count as normal, so about 20 to 22. They plan to have 22 last season, so I would say they're probably proposing to do 22 episodes this season because they have to finish off what they left from last season so they do need some more time so if everything goes to schedule and filming you know starts on time by the end of the summer i would say 22 is probably a good bet i would say 20 is probably safer but as of right now that's what they're planning to do that's what mark pedowitz the head of the cw has said okay so is this the flash's final season no it's not going to be the flash's final season and yes grant's contract does run out at the end of season seven but he's publicly said this many times recently actually in interviews with michael rosenbaum he did a podcast interview and he talks about this and he wants to play the flash for a long time he realizes how lucky he is to have a job like this to have a role like this that he loves so much you can always tell he's so passionate about being the flash and he wants to continue to like season eight nine ten I think he mentioned supernatural numbers, so, you know, don't worry about when the Flash is going to end, it's not going to be any time 
very, very soon. And also, the CW is not going to cancel its best-rated show, so I think it really depends on Grant. Okay, so let's move on to the final question. This is, when do you think the next crossover is going to be? When is the next big crossover? Okay, so yeah, this year we are apparently not getting a big crossover, obviously with everything going on, with filming being stopped and halted, and it potentially returning later than normal. They're not going to have the big crossover, but they have said they were planning to do a crossover with Batwoman and Superman and Lois this season. Also, there was mention of Stargirl Season 2 doing a crossover with The Flash and maybe Supergirl. That's another thing to talk about another time. But in regards to Batwoman and Superman and Lois, we were expecting that, but we don't know if that's actually happening due to what's happened with Batwoman recently and the massive news that Ruby Rose is leaving the show and that they're going to recast for Season 2. So we don't know if that's going to go ahead. If that does, that will be the next crossover. It's going to be two episodes. There will be characters from the other shows popping up, say like Supergirl or The Flash. But in regards to the next big, big crossover, I think you're mentioning like five episodes or four episodes. Stuff that is that long. So I'd say they're definitely going to go back to that formula for the season after. So that would be like The Flash season 8 and Supergirl season 7. I would say that is when we're going to see the next massive crossover. Where it's like a huge, huge event like Crisis on Earth X or like Elseworlds, or like Crisis on Infinite Earths this year. So, you know, that's probably when the next big, big crossover is going to come. But, yeah. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, go to the community tab and post your comment, question, topic, or theory over there if you want to be included in one of these videos that I'm going to do a lot of in the coming weeks and months. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.